The market has arrived. What am I talking about? Hi everyone, my name is Mike Rennick. I'm your host for this video. Welcome to another Two Minutes with Mike. My guest today is... Don Bartolomucci, and I don't want to go on record. I have no idea what we're talking about right now. So, <laughs> here's the thing. So, I did a video not too long ago that said um, the market's arrived. It's shifted. It's no longer heavily favoring, favoring sellers. It's a blend between buyers and sellers. I shared at that time there's benefits for both, but there's still challenges out there in terms of mortgage rates are up and down. There's, there's a lot of um, volatility in the stock market. Just an opinion. There's, there's no facts behind this, but you've been doing this for a long time. Where are we headed in terms of being able to get mortgages? Are the rates, you know, they talk about when a recession, the rates fall. Um, we've had the clinical definition of two falling quarters, but yet we don't use the R word. Share your expertise. Where is this all headed, Don? Okay, 34 years I've been doing this. And during that time, we've seen a lot of cycles. Mm -hmm. This is one that is familiar, but different. Okay. Previous scenarios where we had super high inflation, which is where we are today, maybe not as high as I can recall back in the Carter, yeah, a long back, time back ago. In the 70s. Seven, but interest rates were significantly higher than two. Where I'm going with this is every, every time we had a situation where we were in a very high inflationary period, the government does all they can to push that down. That's you know what they're uh, supposed to do, get inflation under control. This is no different, but the, the, the cycle that usually follows is the recession, which hopefully this will be a soft landing. Doesn't look like it's as soft as everybody was hoping it to be. But during that recessionary period, think about what happens now. We've made the economy almost stop. Mm -hmm. So what do you do to stimulate the economy? You lower rates to increase stimulate spending. The money. To increase right. spending again. And that's what pulls you out of the recession. So what we're anticipating is once we get into and identify, we identify we're in a recession, we're anticipating that we will see interest rates fall again. So that doesn't mean don't buy now because you can refinance, right? Well, it, it, to the contrary, let's talk about sell prices. Okay. In recessions, real estate has been strong. I mean, values have held so well in the last seven of the yeah, I, eight I have of a the chart last seven. I've shown in many videos that we all remember 2008, but that wasn't the that was as an anomaly, right? right. So it, most re well, all recessions except the one that we were just discussing, value stayed s s rock solid. Mm -hmm. So the, the the problem that you have by waiting, a lot of people are saying, "I'll just wait till rates come down." Well, where are values going to be right. in another year when we see f rates fall? So again, can you outsave appreciation and can you outsave? your savings in an interest rate, you never can do it because appreciation always wins. Yeah. So the, the consensus is buy now, refinance later if the opportunity arises, and get into the property oh. at values at today's values instead of values a year from now. And that's that where it be fell higher. apart in 2008 is values fell and you couldn't refinance. People were but there was a rates. reason. Yeah. And for none the, of those are in the market today. It was a lending issue. We were lending to people that could fog a mirror and you could get a mortgage. I like to say, if you try to spell the word mortgage and you got one letter right. You could get a loan. Yeah, it was so really unfortunate so times. to make a long story short, this isn't the end of the world. The, all of the forecasts are looking strong from a housing perspective. Interest rates will come back down. I would say, my, my opinion would be to, to go ahead and make your purchase if you're in the market now. When you look back five years from now and you make the right changes, you're going to have a smile on your face. Uh, hey, uh, what are you paying for rent right now? That's, that's another good it's, example. It's yeah. cheaper to own than it is to rent yeah, now. Absolutely. If they want to learn more about this, Don, how would they get a hold of you? 941-227-7618. Uh, my name is Mike Rennick. My cell is 941-400-8735. Thanks for watching.